Greetings, peace, to the remnant of Jacob, the remnant of Jacob are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Haitians, West Indians, all right, so-called West Africans, Central, all right, and different parts of uh, the Four Corners, the Israelite foreigners, uh, we make up the 12 tribes of uh, Israel, the kingdom of Israel, the kingdom of Judah. Back here again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Hamashek Yahushai Shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel and uh, this is something I was meditating on yesterday and yesterday I believe it was in the afternoon yesterday I was meditating on a point which was made and I wrote it down. I said, how did we all meet each other? It was all on the streets. It was all on the streets. How did we all meet each other? It was all on the streets. And when I was meditating on that, I was meditating that um, in this ministry, you have a lot of excuses that go on in uh, you know the gospel because people say that they work on themselves, but all these brothers that are around in the ministry, you wouldn't know them if you didn't go out there on the streets and meet them to begin with. You know, you wouldn't even have be able to even mention anybody's name in the ministry. You wouldn't know all these beautiful brothers in the gospel if you didn't go out there in the streets. I right, that's how that's what made us come in unity. Different brothers from all walks of life, uniting to hearing to the word. The word is what united brothers to know who we all are. And we wouldn't know who we are at all if the word didn't unite us to meet on the street. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 3. And vowing to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. What's the unity of the Spirit? Because the Racha Kodash, the Holy Spirit, is what united us. And I remember the first time I came out there to the highways and byways. The first time I went out there on the streets. I saw a holy angel. I literally saw a holy angel in human form. The first time I went out there to the highways and byways. And I remember when um, the brother, well, I don't agree with the doctrine which they teach as of now, but the brother, Sean, he called me at one point in time and told me and said, um, when are you coming out there um, to join us to go out there on the streets? And basically, I postponed it and said, oh yeah, just another time. And then what happened to me was that when I refused to go out there on the streets, the Most High sent a demon to attack me. And what happened was that I wasn't able to move and what happened was that um you know it was 
I wasn't able to move at all. And it told me that he's a villain of the Most High. But that's because I refused to go out there on the streets and teach the uh, word of Yahweh Hashem, Hamashek Yahushai. I was giving excuses. I was saying, ah, you know, yeah, I'm just working on myself. Yeah, I'll come um, maybe uh, another week. That's what I was doing. Okay? And the most high put a, 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 a spirit to say, hey, listen, I'm a villain, hey. You know? And that put fear on me to go out there on the streets and teach the word of Yahweh Hashem. Hamashek Yahushai. Okay? And what the balance was, was that when I went out there on the streets, I remember I saw a holy angel. I it was an old man. And he was holding a staff in his hand and he was walking. And the minute he looked at me, I became blind. And all I could see was white. But I felt strengthened in the spirit. So that shows you right there how essential it is because all of us in this gospel I wouldn't know anybody inside this ministry if I did not go out there and make a decision to go out there on the streets I wouldn't have known anybody in this ministry Romans 15 and uh, chapter 15 verse 5 to 6 now the power of patience and consolation grants you to be like-minded one toward another according to Hamashiach Yehoshai. And that's what this gospel does. It makes us like-minded. What is like-minded? Agreeing that the Most High's name is Yehawah. Right? My mind is believing that the Most High's name is Yehawah. Your mind is believing the Most High's name is Yahweh. My mind is believing that the true name of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. Your mind is believing that the true name of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. My mind is believing that only the 12 tribes can be saved. Your mind is believing that only the 12 tribes can be saved. Your mind is believing that salvation is only for the 12 tribes. My mind is believing that. And that's like-minded. Alright? Because how you love your brother, the Bible says, have incorruptness in doctrine. Incorruptness in doctrine. Meaning that wherever you teach, make sure that it's truth. Because truth plus lie equals lie because you cannot mix the truth and and and, and the lie together little leaven leaven of the whole lump just a tiny bit of leaven can leaven the whole lump all right that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify the most high even the father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Yeah, and that's how we do that. First Corinthians chapter one verse ten. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, that ye all speak the same thing. All right, the Bible says that we have to speak the same thing. Okay, this is Paul writing that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, saying that we speak the same thing. Let me read that again. Now, I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, that ye all speak the same thing. What's speaking the same thing? If I say something, if I say salvation is only for the 12 tribes of Israel, you got to say that too. 
We're going to speak the same thing. If I'm saying the RFID chip is the mark of the beast, you got to say the same thing. If you believe that um, that heathens are going to go into captivity slavery, I got to speak that too. We got to speak the same thing. Okay? The same thing. If I believe the Edomites are so-called white people, if I say that, you got to believe that too. We got to speak the same thing. That ye all speak the same thing. And that there be no divisions among you. Alright, what's the no divisions? No divisions in the sense of even it can also it can also go as far as attitude as well. If someone has a rude attitude, how are you gonna behave? But most importantly, the doctrine, the gospel. Because this doctrine that we're teaching is very, very important. Because, you know, this doctrine teaches you, okay, what are the ch- what are the chariots? Okay, those are the vehicles of the angels. The doctrine teaches you, uh, you know, what's the, the Most High's name? What's his son's name? How did, who, who, how did you learn those names? The Most High put men on the scene through the Racha Kodash. You watched the video and you were taught those names through the Racha Kodash. You didn't just get those names out of thin air. Okay? There are certain men that the Lord has set up to teach you the true names of the Lord. Yahweh and the Most High Yahweh. Let me read that from this part. And that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgments. Psalm 133 verse 1. Behold, how good and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity. And what does that mean in unity? Being like-minded. Being like-minded. It's very important that we're what? That we're like-minded. That we don't change the doctrine. If I say that Yahweh Shai had a natural birth, you got to believe Yahweh Shai had a natural birth. Because the scripture speaks about the doctrine. Yeah? This is the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 1. But thou, but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. In all things, he didn't say in some things. In few things. No, just a tiny bit. It says, in all things. Whether it be character. Whether it be what you teach. It says, in all things. Show thyself a pattern of good works. And then there's a colon here. Alright? So after the colon, it says what? It says, in doctrine. Show Wing and corruptness, gravity, sincerity. So in it's very important to keep the doctrine pure. To not corrupt the doctrine. Very important that we do not corrupt the doctrine. The Bible says that we should show uncorruptness. We shouldn't change the doctrine. Because when you change the doctrine, 
you're coming against Hamashiach Yahawashai. You gotta be very, very careful how you uh, change the doctrine. And the Bible speaks about those that change the doctrine, the gospel. I. This is uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 14, NLT. But I have a few complaints against you. You tolerate some among you whose teachings is like that of Balaam. Right, so if you tolerate someone's teachings, which is of Balaam, that's bad. Who showed Balak how to trip up the people of Israel? He taught them to sin by eating food offered to idols and by committing sexual sin. And that's a bad thing. You can't tolerate someone who's teaching the doctrine of Balaam. Doctrines of devils. And being a defender of the gospel is not someone that just anyone can say they love Yahweh Shai. But it's your actions that will show whether you love the Lord. If you love Yahweh Shai, if you really love any brother around you, you'll tell them, listen, I believe the so called white man is Esau. I believe that the man of sin is Esau, the so-called white man. I believe that only the 12 tribes of Israel can be saved. I believe that Yahawashai had a natural birth. That's if you genuinely love your brother. You tell them the truth. You teach the truth. Because if you don't teach the truth, what happens? You start teaching lies. And Yahawashai doesn't rate a respecter of man, a respecter of person. Alright? The Lord ain't dealing with that spirit. Right? Even the Apostle Paul said, if, if, if one comes to you, even if an angel came to you with another doctrine, receive them a curse. Even if an angel came up to you, yeah, and taught another doctrine, yeah, receive them a curse. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 1. In three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful both before Yahweh and men. The unity of brethren, the love of neighbors, a man and wife that agree together. You see? So we have to have the spirit of being able to love our neighbor. And how we love our neighbor is by telling our neighbors the truth. Alright? Because how we all met each other in this ministry was by going out on the streets. If I did not go out on the streets... You did not go out on the streets. None of us would know each other at all. Alright. So at the end of the day. In this gospel. Amen. Noah was crying. To the people. Saying the Lord going to bring a flood. People wasn't listening. And, and you got to be careful. Of brothers. Which have dreams. And you physically see them happening. If you have a brother. 
that has dreams and those dreams that you see are evidently happening in your life you should be like raw that's the lord that's the most high that's the most high yahweh bahashim yahushai speaking to me because the brother had a dream and now i'm seeing it happening in real life that's the most high speaking to me but it's up to you to decide now whether you want to hearken to the Most High Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai. Or you want to follow your own ways. Okay? But, anyways, Shalom to the hopeful elect.